What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, back with more Marvel Legends. This time we have probably, the, I guess you'd call it part two of the Avengers Infinity War wave. At least because they have a second wave coming out. But this is not that, these are the exclusives that were missed out from the first wave. So over here we have the Scarlet Witch and Vision Toys R Us exclusive pack that we had to order from somewhere special. Because our Toys R Us doesn't have it, of course, Toys R Us are going out of business and everything, so it's hard to find stuff. So we had to special order this, so that's why we finally have it now, of the Scarlet Witch Vision. And then we, of course, got the Walmart exclusive Thanos. Um, of course, this doesn't technically go with the wave, but it came out with the wave. And this is the Walmart exclusive, and our Walmart finally got a whole bunch in, so we finally were able to pick one up. And it comes with a bunch of cool things you can switch out and stuff. So we'll go ahead and look at each one of these, um, just look at the more detailed stuff, so let's get into them. So I got them out of the package, so we're going to take a look at the two-pack first, the Toys R Us set. We'll go ahead and look at Scarlet Witch first, move Vision to the side there. So here we have Scarlet Witch, of course, looks just like she does in the Avengers movie, in her red cloak and then black pants, and so I just like the way she looks. So she's got her red hair, as she usually does, um, which, if it can focus there, the face looks really good. It looks a lot like Elizabeth Olsen, I believe that's her name, um, but I think that looks a lot like, and I really like that. Um, looking into her hair, though, she does have some sort of weird imperfection going on there that was some sort of thing, like, messed up, um, that's like they have an extra piece or something went wrong in there. Uh, but looking at her face, like I said, does look a lot like her. I think they did a really good job. This is like one of the most realistic looking faces I've seen on a Marvel Legend character. Then go down, uh, then her necklace, so she does have her necklace on, which I want to say in comic books as like part of her powers, the necklaces, but I don't really know if it is or not. Um, but then going into her coat, she's she's got her red cloak on here, her coat, so it obviously goes down her sleeves on both sides, and she's got red gloves on, and then of course like her hands, which looks like they may be bent a little weird, um, but she's got um, her gloves on, then of course with her fingers showing, and then she's got rings on the fingers and everything, and of course showing that she's, you know, doing her weird, like, magic stuff that she does. Same on both sides, again, with rings on the fingers and everything, on a couple of the fingers there on each hand. Uh, they go down, so then it's her cloak here, or coat here in the front, then she's got a shirt on underneath, of course, a red jacket. Looks like she's all twisted around a little bit. Um, some sort of red shirt underneath there, of course, with a zipper down the middle. Going with all red, because Scarlet Witch, you know, is scarlet with red and then that's her classic character form of wearing a bunch of red then she's just got black leather pants going down in her black leather boots of course have a heel on everything because all the girls have to have heels on their shoes and stuff and so that's all for scarlet which um so of course moving so i just won't go into much detail but she's just got the, all the classic movements of a female um marvel legends figure she does come with some accessories so she has these like little swirl things that you can like um, put onto her arms and hand let's see if i can pop one on here um, you can just like, you know, twist it around her hands of, um, some sort to make it look like, you know, she's doing her magic, um, powers. I'll stick this one on too. I don't know exactly how they're supposed to go on, but you can just, uh, put them on in some fashion, whatever you think looks best. And now she's doing her magic powers and now she's going to put you in a trance. But that's, um, it for Scarlet Witch. And now will move over to Vision. So we're at Vision and I really like this Vision character. He looks so cool. Um, so I like the paint and all the colors and designs they did into it. So let's pull it up close here. So, look, so we'll start with the head. And again, I think the face looks really good. It does look a lot like the Vision um, from the movie with the Paul Bettany face and stuff. I think that looks really good that they did there. So he has all the details and designs there on his head of course part of just the vision design of being cybernetic and all sorts of stuff there around the back we do have the mind stone there in the center of his forehead which of course is the big part of the Avengers movie um, then going down we got his cloak which I think is one of the coolest things so of course up here it's kind of detached it's supposed to be glued down there's a little glue spot but it's come unattached so we have to glue that back down but then going into his cloak or cape here it just looks awesome I love the detail and design so again he's all you know like a cyborg or you know robot so he has all this weird design as you can probably see in there all the like different lines and everything that look you know like very computer techish but I like the cloak the way um f uh, transmorphs or whatever from the um, yellow or the pink into the gold or yellow and stuff I like the like different way it um, goes in there and I like I think that looks really awesome uh, then going into his body so he's all he's pretty much all metallic paint or metallic base so everything's like got a metallic tint to it so he's all green of course metallic green he's got a lot of the pink design going in throughout his body painted in um, then he's got his pink it I could just call it pink it's like a reddish pink color but he's got the pink um, arms and, or gauntlets with the hands here of course with a bunch of gold all over it same 
on this side so he's got both hands open there to do stuff then he's got a little belt on with some gold design into it there and then continuing on with the grain down to the boots where it goes into the pink boots with gold on them as well and then for accessories he does just come with two fists so if you want to switch them to fists instead of open hands like that you can you know put them into fighting fist i got them all switched around here but you can do that i don't know what you'd want to do because i don't really like know what vision does i can't remember what he really does in the movie with like power stuff i know he uses like the mind stone a lot for powers and then he just fights but um i don't know which one you'd rather have but i think that's really cool so just from the box real quick it says both empowered by the mind stone vision and scarlet which are powerful forces in the throes of battle so again they are like two of the most like as you saw from like uh civil war and of course, Age of Ultron Vision is like a super powerful person um, just with what he's made of. And then um, I liked how also in uh, Age of Ultron or Avengers Infinity War, you got to see um, Scarlet Witch's, you know, powers where she could control the whole machine thing and stuff. And um, she is a pretty powerful witch and or superhero in the version. So that's going to be for this Toys R Us exclusive two pack. And then our other figure here, of course, is the Walmart exclusive Thanos. And I really like this version of Thanos. This is the comic book version, so it's more of his classic look. And I just like the whole design and detail they put into it. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with his face. So this is what Thanos' face normally looks like. And, of course, he has the hat on. Um, so the movie version did have a lot of the same detail, you know, with, like, the chin with all the different lines going across it. But it didn't have this giant, like, mouth smile and stuff. And then, of course, what looks like to be, like, blue, yeah, like, blue, light blue eyes eyes there um, but I like the way his face looks and of course he's a deep purple where in the movie it was like a lighter purple but I like um, Thanos with the helmet on and stuff of course the helmet with this like golden yellow design of and then the stripe across the head and then he's got like where the ears he's got the yellow dots as well then you go on his chest so he has this giant like armor play which kind of it does come off I finally got it stuck back in kind of um, but it kind of keeps popping out and so it just loose hanging on him so it's not that good um and that then we go into his body where he's got this blue design which i think this blue is really cool it's usually like a darkish blue purple color for thanos and i like this color blue they chose it's all metallic and it's a smooth metallic that i really like um so it's that all over him then i like how they put in the silver streaks and stuff like it's kind of like armor on him in this version um then we got a yellow stripe going down into his belt where he's got this you know kind of like skirting type thing around him that goes to the back and everything of all the gold and yellow as well going down into his legs where this time i like how they put it i don't know what it's for but they put in you know makes him look like he's cybernetic or something so he's got like this internal um silver stuff or gray and it's like robotic parts so i don't know what that whole thing thing is supposed to be because you know Thanos as far as I know isn't any form of robot so it's weird that he has that going on with his legs there into his knee and everything then he's got his um, yellow boots on of course classic looking boots with the giant whatever you call this thing that a lot of the superheroes used to have on their shoes this giant like band here at the top of the yellow going into his feet as well with again with all the classic movements um, now we'll go into his hands here so on this side you just got the normal looking hand so again another um, kind of like a gauntlet part here of the golden yellow into his normal looking fists with I like how he's like got these metal parts on here so if he wants to punch it's like brass knucks then of course the big part is on this side we have the infinity gauntlet so this is the classic looking infinity gauntlet here I like in this um, design it's more it looks more of like a cloth material where of course in the movie it was all like you know a piece of metal design um so we've got the cloth you know part of the gauntlet here and then we go into the infinity stones and so we have the green which I'm gonna try and remember these I don't know if I remember all but we got the time stone over here we have what i believe this one's the red which would be the reality stone yellow the mind stone blue is the um soul stone or no the uh um, i can't remember what's called uh the space is what i'm trying to think then we have the purple which is the power stone in orange which is the soul stone there so we got all of the stones there in the infinity gallet and of course there's this hand you know it's all open that he's grabbing at some so you can do like a fighting type thing and of course you can do it like oh i've got the power in my hands um so that's all for the actual thanos there and i really like that design so for for, for some of his accessories we have a head so a different head sculpt here without the mouth open so if you don't want the teeth showing and grating you can switch the head out just to a closed mouth there and then we just have a replacement hand so you can replace the infinity gala off and uh have another hand just like the normal two so you have you know, can have two matching hands before the Infinity Gauntlet, then you can have the Infinity Gauntlet if you want. So it's just the hand and then this 
gauntlet part that goes onto it as well there. So just from the locks, it says, Armed for War, Thanos wields the Infinity Gauntlet and plots to take over the galaxy. Which is very fitting to what you saw in the movie and everything. And so they remain pretty much true to that. And so I just think this is really cool and I like the Infinity Gauntlet part and stuff. And I like this design for Thanos overall. This is my favorite look for Thanos. And so that's going to be it for this Marvel Legends set. Of course, don't have any Build-A-Figure set. These are just additional figures that were included in the um, Avengers Infinity War set. But I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, the Toys R Us 2-pack and this Walmart exclusive Thanos. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time.